am back today with something that I've always wanted to add to the collection and take out to the range and shoot, and that is a Swiss 7.5 straight pole rifle. And thanks to Colorado gun sales, I get a chance to grab this T&E, take it out to the range, and do some shooting, and that's what we did, and I completely fell in love with the action design and cartridge. More information can be available on Colorado Gun Sales about the history and lineage of the K11 straight pull rifle, as well as the K31 and other variations. And that's what we're looking at today, the Swiss Schmidt & Rubin K11 carbine. And this one is interesting because it is the predecessor to the K31. You can, again, find all of that detailed information about specific models, the interchangeability, the history, and the lineage of these, again, on Colorado Gun Sales website. Now, for the sensor, moderator, and content algorithm over at YouTube, there are no guns for sale in this video. None whatsoever. This is just a review of the rifle that Colorado Guns sent out to the channel. The other cool thing is they created a coupon code specifically for my viewers, 704 Tactile for 10% off. They also have a wide variety of Swiss imports, be it Lugers, SIGs, and a few other platforms. And you can utilize that code on everything on their website. So that is a great opportunity to save yourself some money. This is not necessarily a detailed review of the 7.5 Swiss K11 and its history, but more of an overview of what you can expect from Colorado Gun Sales website, the condition, its function down at the range, and my overall experiences with a straight pole rifle because this was my first chance of actually shooting this. They also offer US produced 7.5 by 55 ammo, which we'll discuss in a second. That can be a little bit challenging to find as a reliable US um, source they've actually got some available so that's pretty cool and they sent a few boxes out to the channel for us to try when we are looking at the rifle and starting at the front you can see all of the bluing fa remains fairly intact and this will be a good representative sample of what you can expect the bands are solid and the wood is solid and you can see no major dings or dents or issues with the front of the rifle the sight post remains straight and true and no nips or dings or chips out of that front sight post that you need to be worried about moving along you can see that the furniture itself does have nicks and dings which is to be expected from a surplus rifle but it's a beautiful color everything remains solid intact and secure so it's going to be a great shooter down at the range the rear sight is adjustable for elevation everything works as it should and there's no slop and play in the sight itself so when you're picking up surplus rifles that's something you want to check for the bore remains clean and very bright, so you're not going to have any issues taking this out for distance and shooting it, and all the pins and rivets still remain intact. Moving along to the action, you can see how beautiful this has remained over the years, and the straight pull action is a very interesting action to take down to the range and just have fun with. If you've never shot a straight pull rifle, it's fun, it's interesting, and it's unique. Unlike other bolt action rifles where you lift up on the bolt, you pull it back and you either cock on open or cock on close. This straight pull action is what it is. You grab onto the knob right here, you pull back, you push forward, and it chambers that next round and you are ready to go. And it is fun, it is quick, and it is enjoyable. It also has this very large cocking ring so you could potentially decock the action and recock it later or you could decock it to make it safe and then clear out around if you wanted to the trigger on these guys work as they should the trigger guards are very nice and smooth and rounded no issues with the trigger guards or plates all of the screws are properly secured and you're not going to have any issues actually taking these down to the range and actually shooting them and enjoying them and that's part of the fun for me grabbing surplus rifles that I actually shoot and enjoy and don't worry about taking out at the range with the function so this is a great opportunity to grab a k11 rifle from colorado gun sales they also have a few different versions that i'll hopefully be trying in the future like the k31 and really discuss that lineage in a little bit better detail as i gain more knowledge and as i take these down to the range 
The other cool thing is they offer factory new 7.5 Swiss ammo. The cartridges were made in the USA by Alpha Echo Tango Ammunition LLC and they're a 20 round box. They use factory new PPU brass and 147 grain full metal jackal bullet. Full metal jackal bullet. Now those are going to be um, good for the K31, the K11, the 1911, the 1896 slash 11, and even the PE57 slash STG w57 the 10 round test average on fps was about 27 or 2670 feet per second and that is just a solid reliable round if you have a 7.5 straight pull rifle and you were looking for some ammo this ran great down at the range and this thing was a little tack driver again no slouch in the accuracy department i took it outstanding to about 80 to 100 yards and was plinking steel no issues whatsoever and if you've never shot just the old surplus rifles you'll be amazed at the accuracy, quality, and performance out of something that can be up to 100 years old and still be perfectly functional to this day. So I hope you guys like the video. I hope it gives you an interesting look at the K11 straight pull rifle chambered in 7.5 by 55 Swiss. And a huge shout out to Colorado Gun Sales for sending it out this model for us to try out. We'll be continuing to shoot it and maybe even comparing it to some other versions in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.